Hey guys, today I'm uh, gonna do a quick guide on steeple of forsaken menu. And yeah, so the steeple, uh, uh, the steeple of forsaken menu, is on the sixth floor, floor. And you need to beat it to get to the seventh floor. So it is required. Oh god! Oh, the key you're, you're looking, looking for, for is locked inside this bag. Okay, uh, it seems uh, so don't lost lock, so you want to go on the right hand side, we saw the slope and yeah, indicated helpful information, do you want helpful information? No, I'm not giving you. So I go on this x switcher and jump on this cylinder pole thing and go in this minor. Oh boy, you will be so mad when you're reaching on the last floor. I'm genuinely. I'm genuine. So yeah. Uh, the middle hole is opened. And that's time to go into the second floor. I think this is the second floor. Yeah, it is. So yeah. This part is cool. This part is actually pretty, pretty cool because it uses water terrain. So, like this this steeple is has has the like worst indication out of everything. So first, what you want to do is you want to jump on the water. Yeah, you just keep pressing space button and you want to touch this timer button and the GUI. It's actually pretty interesting. So you want to go under here. Don't touch the water or else you need to do the timer button thing again. Press this one and go down here. And this is an X pusher. Remember, this is a freaking X pusher. Okay? When you're playing this steeple, this is a freaking X pusher. Okay? You know that? And press this gray button and everything will be okay. You don't need to care about the timer button again. You just want to like uh uh, you want to swim underneath the water and you, this part will open. Remember the X pusher or else you will get lost for 15 minutes. Okay. Use the switches to flip highlighted blocks. Yeah, a cool mechanic, but yeah, it just appeared for once. It actually doesn't like have some very cool, like cool gameplay. So mm, yeah, it's just basically a huge acant yeah now 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 it's yeah so currently i feel like halloween fan is just a, like a huge acant generally being honest like lo look at this this is literally finding switches and going through a door and like yeah kind of complain it is cool but not everybody wants to find the thing <laughs> so yeah touch this button and the flash rod will be over. Ooh, we want the the flash rod. I don't know how the flash rod got that high in the first place. Also, why is it the stupid rock working? I'm not sure why. Why? I don't know. Do you know? No. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's just go back into the starting place and. Oh my god. Look, hey, look at that. I'm just gonna stay at this view. This give me phobia vibes. Generally be honest. God. This actually give me phobia vibes. Uh, if you don't know what is phobia, it's basically the fear of ocean. Oh lord. Oh my god. Like looking at this angle feels a lot weirder. And the vibe is... Let, let's just look at this angle. Do you feel the phobia here? Yeah, I'm sure you feel that because like there's some muddy water and the dark terrain and now it's Yeah, phalasmophobia, the fear of ocean. Yeah, very huge phalasmophobia vibes. Oh okay, yeah, let's get continue. So we want to continue on this yellow yellow door and you can enter, you know you do a uh, a free start laugh clip here. I'm just kidding. So uh this door will only open with a flashlight shining here. Boom! We got and Guess what? Boom! We get ourselves a flashlight, so we're gonna do a 360. <sighs> and yeah, we uh, get onto the third floor. And this is where the gameplay starts to become interesting. So yeah, this is basically the hardest floor of this tower. And at 
using flashlight will toggle light blocks. Oh my god, some light blocks will have the opposite effect. So my god, oh wow, I did not know it. Okay, so um, basically this is like um, a controlled beat block thing. So yeah, as you can see, we can do fancy stuff like that. I'm clicking on the flashlight. It, it just changes the platform wherever we want. So, ah uh, yeah, by the way, don't like, there's like a ext one set extended out here. So you really be careful not to hit that. And yeah, you kind of get the idea of this mechanic. I mean, it's cool. So I want to like do that and let it fall from here. And oh no, do we need to do a laugh clip? No, you don't. Okay, so press this button and a platform will open. So we can go to here and hop on this boxes. And yeah. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, I mean. And after that, we wanna jump under here and jump on the middle hole and there's gonna be another another sneaky exposure here. And uh, if you open the flashlight, you will see that the uh, the thing told us to go into that way because this was a freaking fallen platform. I literally just got faked for the first time, so be careful. And yeah, do you get... W so yeah, you need to do a fancy thing. So you wanna like... Uh, yeah, you, you basically want to jump and then press the flashlight at once, so it's not that hard, I mean. You just need to use your brain a little bit to figure out the puzzle. So yeah, go into here, go into these boxes. Is this kind of true? No, it's not. Good for me, I mean. Go into here, and go into here and press the button. And now we've got button progress, so... Uh, yeah, this is a very huge button progress, so you want to like jump down here and remember this place? Yeah, so you don't need to go on the exposure hole here, now you can just jump on this cock thing. Yeah, cock thing. Uh, jump on here, jump on here, go on this mover, be careful, don't rush, if you rush, you're dead, and this is basically the same thing we just encountered just now, so jump onto here, and oh god, I just literally slapped up. And yeah, this one is much more trickier. So I want to like do that. Stupid! I'm stupid! I'm an E! So jump under here. Go on this truss. And yeah, that thing's kind of happened. Uh, it happened to me for me for sec two, two times. So this is why I call this part a little bit frustrating. So yeah, this one. Um, yeah. So you want to do that. Yeah, you basically want to jump and then you need to quickly uh, 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 activate the flashlight. Yeah, you need to have some brains to figure out what you need to do. And you want to jump down to here. And another sneaky exposure. I'm not sure why do they make so much of it, but it just sucks. So yeah, now we got some another big brain puzzle. It's not actually that big brain, so basically you want to... Uh, yeah, you see this? Uh, half invisible light beam, you just do that. Oh my god! I'm so smart! And this one, you see this invisible light beam here? Oh no, Jesus Christ! Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. Sorry, but, uh, yeah. Uh, this one is a little bit much more sneakier, so we want to do that. And you want to jump, and you want to activate the flashlight after you like land uh, at this position. So you want to do that, okay? So, jump into here. You want to like toggle the flashlight. Yeah, as you can see, the flashlight needs to be activated in order to light up. So this is, there's another sneaky conveyor here, so be careful. Welcome to the worst part, and yeah, welcome to another part, and this is the worst part in history. So, um, jump down here. <sighs> This is uh yeah you were locked in a first person so um uh, the mimic the mimic okay if you're on a uh, computer I recommend you to pin script pin script I'm just gonna do that. And now we've got ourselves a map and a gameplay. So yeah. So um, first thing first, the first thing first, the yellow pad means the button we need to activate, and the green yeah arrows means that the staircase 
Okay, the staircase to second floor. And then the downward arrows means that the staircase but going downwards and yeah you get the idea of it. Do you get the idea of it? You don't know. Okay, so uh yeah the green door means that you need to have four buttons in order to activate the wind pad. So right now we're on this room here. This room here. So we need to get to the yellow pad. So first want to go on the right side and if you see this you, you if you see the sign you can see there is like a line here you just need to follow the line a little bit and you will find the generator so since we are in a maze why don't we just uh, make some funny maze jokes because uh uh it is amazing okay <laughs> this is very amazing so i'm pretty sure you want to go into this stair because this stair goes up to the place where you cannot like open the button on the second floor so let me just check out the row for a little bit but yeah you know that this is pretty funny i'm just gonna walk in this direction because uh, i really don't like uh I, I i don't like using relative directions so um i get we're in here and then we're on here okay so we basically need to like find a letter so uh, yeah, you will see this smiley face. Something bad will happen soon. Oh God. Okay, uh, I do have some bad news here. Uh, do you know? Do you know why did the like the creator of this depot got divorced? Uh, uh because he got lost in his work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, do you see this letter here? Yes. This is where you want to do and welcome to the second floor because you're in the second floor so um yeah so i'm just gonna choose to ah yeah so we are gonna uh, so yeah do you see the sign here do you see the sign telling you not to touch the electricity there yes you're gonna touch the electricity so touch 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 <laughs> I'm a little bit over exaggerated. I just did something that is not very cool for the society. So yeah. Oh. So we go to here, and then we go to here, and <gasps> oh, there we go to this. Oh God, Jesus Christ! I just press almost press the wrong. Um, I I I like adjust the quality a little bit much more better. So welcome to the third floor. The third floor is where everything bad is gonna happen. So. So I want to like go to here and yeah go to here and go to this wooden plank and yeah I'm using the relative direction baby I'm using the relative direction so do that do that do that and then oh my okay and then we got to the generator so if you have the map everything is gonna be okay for you and uh if you cross over this fan and go to here, you see there's an exit, but, but, this is locked because you haven't unlocked the fourth button on the fourth floor yet, so let's just backtrack a little bit, let's jump down here, uh, yeah, let's just jump down to the second floor and do everything again because, uh, things can get a little bit weirder oh yeah i'm feeling a little bit stressy here so uh uh do you know what you call what do you call the anxiety you feel when you're inside a maze of buildings uh it is a complex 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 <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not sorry okay i really like to do that uh 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 oh oh Oh. What the hell? What the hell? Do you know what just happened? I think it did not happen, but uh, like my window outside my window is a bit noisy here. So it's just like there's like sudden like a dog screaming out of the uh window, like a pop, that kind of noise that uh, is just so weird. Let's continue up. So we're just gonna end up in here again. So. I don't even know how to explain express my feelings. Oh, oh sneaky. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, we're back now. 
we're back at the generator and uh i think if we go into the other side yeah this is the side where i want so um uh, the generator is there we went into f jesus christ that scared me so badly oh god oh god oh god oh lord you don't know whoa oh god that that is literally uh, like the mimic kind of g style game uh scare jump scare that scared me so badly oh lord jesus christ i feel like my whole entire body is like floating in the sky right now and oh god i ran under the wrong direction because i'm so dumb oh okay i'm back guys stupid idiot sparkly thing so right now we are here and we want to go to this staircase in order to access the staircase in order to go to the fourth floor at here and then we are going to do the button and then we backtrack a little bit backtrack to here and then we want to go to here and go on this staircase go to here go to do the wind pad you get it no you don't because this is so stupid so yeah I want to go to here and boom bada bing bum boom you find a letter if you find a letter it means it, it probably means that you are on the right track so let's just go on here and let me just change the map a little bit so yeah right now we are at here christ where uh, oh god gee w where am i what what huh where did i come from Oh, okay, 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 okay. I hate darkness. That is why I hate darkness. Yeah, let's go into here, go into here, go into this fan thing. Here. And you see the sign here? That means we're going on the right direction. No, no, no. Freak you, star sparkly thing. Goodbye. One, two, see. Oh, God, I got. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, I had a jump scare when the, like, the cutscene cuts out. Uh, yeah, let's just jump back down and find another exit because uh, let's just uh, get back to the fancy fan thing. And we need to do this thing here. And we're finally on the exit. So um, um let, let us celebrate a bit just by telling another terrible joke. Okay, do you know that a corn maze... Yeah, corn maze to be renamed to uh, maze mazes because they are funny. Because like the stupid uh, sparkly thing just get me again. <sighs> I'm so tired of it. Yeah, it, it literally, it literally like use up half of my time. I think I wasted ten minutes for this one. This is just not cool. This is not. Cool. This is non gameplay. So, goodbye. Yeah. Did you subscribe? Run for your life. Oh god, I really hate doing mazes. I'm sure nobody like love mazes. Especially on 3D, I mean uh, 2D mazes, easy stuff, easiest stuff ever. Um, but uh, 3D mazes just makes me want to go die and go to hell.